Oxford University is well known as one of the, the UK's leading universities. It's also very active in, in computational finance, mathematical finance. Computational finance these days is one of the big growth areas in scientific computing. The banks have server rooms with thousands and thousands of servers. And so they're looking for ways of doing calculations faster, also, also reducing their electricity consumption. Banks are having to you know, spin off uh, data centers around the edge of London just because of the lack of power supply. What GPUs will allow us to do in the future is move towards new architectures where we have much greater energy efficiency for the computations. In computational finance, there are two main numerical approaches, Monte Carlo methods and finite difference methods. So with, with Monte Carlo methods, you simulate lots of possible different future scenarios. The other approach um, takes that and applies a sort of probabilistic viewpoint to it to convert the equations into a partial differential equation. The Monte Carlo methods map extremely well to GPU architectures. I did some initial calculations on a GPU with 128 cores, and each one of those cores delivered a throughput comparable to one core of, of an Intel Core Duo chip. So just, just fabulous performance. The, the finite difference calculation, that, that's a bit more challenging in terms of the programming. You have to sort of break the data up into pieces and map each piece onto one of the multiprocessors in, in the GPU. With one of the relatively low-end cards, uh, with 112 cores, we managed to get a 50 times speed up. The most important advance that's made it possible to use these GPUs is the CUDA programming language. CUDA now has just made it so easy to exploit the potential from these GPUs. And, and for someone like me that's come from a background of distributed computing with MPI, it's really been a very easy and natural migration to go from that background to using CUDA, both for the Monte Carlo and for the finite difference applications. The banks are fiercely competitive, and so the profit margins on these financial products are really slim. And so to get better modeling, more precise values is, is a significant value to the banks.